Hi, I'm Dr. Galen Connell from the Canadian Chiropractic Guideline Initiative. I'd like to explain how osteoarthritis can be managed according to the best available evidence. Osteoarthritis refers to a condition characterized by joint pain. It's accompanied by varying degrees of limitation and reduced quality of life. It's the most common form of arthritis and is one of the leading causes of disability worldwide. Greater osteoarthritis related difficulty walking increases the risk for diabetes complications and cardiovascular events. Greater osteoarthritis related disability is associated with increased all-cause mortality and risk for serious cardiovascular events. Everyone with osteoarthritis should receive first-line treatments. First-line treatments include education, for example, advice on appropriate footwear for people with lower limb osteoarthritis. It includes self-management, such as the application of heat or cold. It includes exercise, like local muscle strengthening, or stretching, or general aerobic fitness, like swimming or cycling. And it also includes weight management for those who are obese or overweight. Did you know that the impact of programs resulting in weight loss among the obese would lead to the prevention of more than 200,000 new cases of osteoarthritis over the next 30 years? Now, some individuals with osteoarthritis should receive second-line treatments, which include medication, aids and devices, like braces, joint supports, insoles, or assistive devices. And it also includes passive treatments given by a healthcare professional, like manipulation and stretching. A very small percentage of people with osteoarthritis should receive third-line interventions, which involve surgeries such as joint replacement, joint fusion, or joint conserving surgery. Be sure to consult with your healthcare provider to learn which treatment is best for you. This has been brought to you by the Canadian Chiropractic Guideline Initiative.